as a stage manager, um, the main thing that I kind of do is communicate between the technical departments who are all working to get all the lights and sound sorted and the, the actors who are obviously on stage and the creative team in the room so that we're using the time like most efficiently in order to kind of get everything done. So there's one stage manager who oversees all of this and manages the tech rehearsals and organises the budget and all of us. Then there's the deputy stage manager who is in rehearsals constantly, taking all the notes, writing all the movement on stage. And they've got, they've got to cue the show, so they're calling all the lighting, all the sound. Then there's four assistant stage managers, so two of us on each side of the stage. And each of us on the side of the stage take responsibility for everything that enters from that side. So it's just a bit more clean and communicated. We're responsible for setting all the props, so we do something like a shout check at the start of every show, um, just ensuring that everything's set in place. During the show, we do things like setting the furniture behind the wing, so that the, in this show the cast take the furniture on, but it's our responsibility to get that furniture ready and ensure it's able to go on stage smoothly and ensuring the actors during the tech know where that furniture's going on. So we do things like spike marks on the stage, um, so we spike furniture, um, in, ensuring that it's going to be put in the right place every time. In the show, um, I have my script that I've made throughout like technical rehearsals and I just kind of follow with the text and I call the cues. Um, so whether that's a lighting cue, um, a fly cue, or we also have trucks in the show which come on and off stage sideways. Um, I call those cues. Um, I also call the actors down to the stage and make sure that we're ready to start the show. And then as the show kind of moves through, I just keep up with that um, and keep the show moving. The most exciting part about my role is how random it is, I'd say. Um, just because one day you can be doing things like cutting up tomatoes and lemons before a scene, um, and then another thing is you could be wheeling a chair on stage or something like that. It's just so random and so spontaneous. It was my first show of third year, so I did ASM roles last year, but this is the first time I'm kind of in this position, um, and it's such a big show. Uh, we keep saying it, but um, there's a lot of costumes. I think there's over 100 quick changes like in the wings. It's been really amazing kind of working with so many people and we've worked a lot with external creatives on this show. Um, so getting to see like how different people work has been really amazing. You always can learn something from someone else. So whether that be somebody who this is their first show in a theatre or it's somebody who have got 30 years of experience with the creative teams that come in, you can learn something different from every single person on the production and that will make you a better person ready for your next show. At Guildhall it's great to have the support of all the staff and being able to do so many shows of loads of different scales from studio all the way up to the Silk Street big shows like this and it's a great experience we get we get to work on opera, dramas from all different time periods we get so much broad experience that's what's the best thing I think. <laughs>